I'm going to say in the course of this video a few times how AI is a reset in our economy and can be an opportunity for women to close the wealth gap. If you sit with me through the entire video, I'm not only going to tell you what's happening with women in AI, but I'm going to give you at the end a couple, more than a couple, a few ideas on places where you can go and learn either to be an entrepreneur or work in the business so you could take advantage of this great opportunity for women to move up the economic scale. Okay. First thing we have to talk about is what is AI? And in order to understand that, we have to distinguish the difference between AI and automation. Okay. AI is a machine that has the ability to perform a human act. Within AI, there is a data set that the data is trained on in order to come up with a conclusion in AI. Now I'm going to tell you at this point, and I'm going to mention it again later, the training process is probably the most important process because that's where you're going to weigh the different biases. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Google announced Gemini, which was its first AI product. When it came out, it was showing images of Chinese popes, popes and black founding fathers. Now how that happened was the person that programmed the training in the AI had a bias and it showed up in the results of the AI. See that could be a disadvantage. Again, if most men are doing the training of the AI, it's probably likely that the AI is going to be biased toward men. Just wanted to leave that out there just for conversation. The second step in AI is validation where the training is tested against a tested model to see how it goes. Okay. The final phase in AI is inference when the final product is being deployed. So, AI has something called artificial general intelligence, which is the ability for a machine to make an intelligent human, intelligent human decision. Machine learning, which is where a machine on a high level can make a decision. And what I'm saying is a simple decision Something like you would get if you apply for a credit card or an automobile. What machine learning would do is take your FICO score. It would take your income statement. And it would take your POB, a place, place of business, and calculate what your, whether or not you get that loan. Underneath AI, underneath the Machine language is something called deep learning. Stick with me. Now deep learning is where a machine, if you think of a house closing, it's much more complicated than buying a car. You have to have a, a, a certificate of occupancy, the title search, your place of business, your credit background, your taxes, a whole bunch of things go into that. So that's what really that 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 the difference between that. The final point in AI is singularity, where a machine hits a certain point that it can think better than man. Now I talked about automation. Automation is just really the process 
of taking a simple task and repetitively doing that task, like in some sort of factory. Now in front of me I have the Pew Report. I promised you I was going to give you some ideas on how you might be able to take advantage of, of this new frontier. But let me give you a little background data which you probably are aware of that 85% um, of bank tellers are women. 25% of C-level are women. 25% um, have STEM degrees. Only 3% are in the VC world. Basically, the Pew Report says that possibly 80% of women's jobs can be in jeopardy because of AI and automation and or the combination of both. Um, when jobs like clerks, payroll clerks, data entry people, bookkeeping, accounting jobs are definitely um, questionable. Now, the irony in AI job loss, not automation, is going to come to surprise you, according to the Pew Report. At risk are financial planners, budget accountants, budget analysts, excuse me, salespeople, real estate people, programmers, lawyers customer service people, tax preparers, highly skilled educational jobs. This is a major reset opportunity. There are going to be, in some cases, more jobs as for artists, musicians, machine learning experts and engineers, data engineers, robotics engineers, software designers, People who have personal contact with people, such as nursing, childcare, those opportunities will be there. If one thing you get out of this that, that you retain is you don't need to go to a four-year college to play in this game. For a matter of fact, I would probably say if you want to participate in this reset as a woman, you probably need to do something along the lines of what I'm going to talk about. IBM has, these are all short-term courses. They run less than a year. And they're really not that expensive. And unlike going to a four-year college or a junior college, you're not going to have to spend time in courses that aren't really going to help you to take advantage of this. So IBM offers an Applied, applied AI Professional Certificate and an Applied AI Engineering Professional Certificate. Google offers an advanced data professional certificate, less than six months. Corsica is a great online training element that you can use. Cisco Systems has Cisco certified engineering degrees and also degrees that are offered in the security world because the more you have AI, the more information out there, the more secure you have to be. AI for everyone. Find that on Google. LinkedIn. The University of Penn offers a course in AI. I think I talked about Corsica training. Humidity has a deep learning training course. If you really want to get into it, you could take a Python programming course, which is one of the programming languages used. And these are all really, like the MIT certification course, are really short-term and inexpensive. 
So, don't think that you have to go to a four-year school to take advantage of this great opportunity for women. As I said, it's a major reset. And, and don't get discouraged about trying something entrepreneurial. If you remember, or you might want to research, Microsoft, Fairchild Semiconductor, Hewlett Packard, Apple Computer, Alphabet, and Dell Computer all started in garages. This is that type of opportunity. Cornelius Vanderbilt, very rich man, he built an empire from a $400 gift from his mom. Ladies, this is a great opportunity for you to close the wealth gap. Thank you very much for your time. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Have a good day.